Good morning guys uh, This video is all about My orchids growing in lava rocks um, Viewer of mine requested That I have to show This particular Orchids that's growing In lava rocks And I'll show you How I use them too in my collection And this is my um Katlia Mott says spot paradise. She's just done blooming right here, but the second lead is also um budding, full bud this time like that. And she is growing here in this lava rock for um two years. This is all lava rocks, no mixture in here. All lava rocks and I put this in the big container because I know that she's going to be um, going to grow a lot of rhizome like this. Yeah, and I was right. I plan ahead about this one. If I use um, lava rocks, I tend to do the bigger container because they're just climbing out. Like this one here. So she's going to climb out. But my plan is I'm just going to let her grow, climb out in there like two more pseudo bulbs after that one then I will just chop the rice from there and fill and wait another month before removing it so that it can grow another sprout another eye right here yeah so I have planned for this lava rocks they're like I will keep them in this spot forever and I have also Potted lava rocks with my vandas, my younger vandas. Yeah, this one here, this lava rocks here, this vanda. Look at the new root tips in that thing. It's growing amazing. I just um watered the roots this time because yesterday I was busy um, spraying them with neem oil. Yeah, it's almost um time for them to go back inside maybe um, second week of September they're gonna be inside because they're gonna start co we're gonna have um cold temperature in here now so vendors can stay in that thing so I was um, very faithful of spraying neem oil on them so kind of a little bit like shiny leaves and I can still smell the neem but these are the roots and this because when I potted this vandas in here when um, about a year ago, they have the, um, no roots. When I, I receive them, the roots are dried and I cut them. Then I put them in this lava rock mixed with um, sphagnum moss. Not too much, a little bit. But look at now, they have plenty of roots now. And so it's that vand vanda right there. You can see the beautiful new root tip right there and it's in the other side too there are more and this this is how I use my lava rocks in my collection and they are producing lots of um, roots here not just because of the lava rock because they like the outdoor growing yeah, the humidity here in the ocean state. Oh my gosh. We don't call ocean state for nothing. Lots of humidity and air circulation. That's what they are. So they're very helpful to me during the winter. Because like um, they dry quickly. Uh, this, these lava rocks are porous. And they dry quickly indoors and and the best thing is I don't have to water them every day yeah that's why I choose this one but I also have a picky vandas that they just don't do good in the lava rock as well so they just I just let them hang so those are the one that I constantly water you know every day and it's a hassle for me but but this one that's growing in lava rock are awesome this one is trying to push out a big 
root right there I can tell and besides this spotting um, all in um, lava rocks I also use lava rocks for um, just top dressing look at this this is my um it used to be a beautiful foliage um, red spray Renanthera and after my vacation it suffered cold it lost a lot of leaves and now it got replaced by roots there's one root here and another one poking out right there so I feel okay about that now and this one here is also straight lava rocks yep and this is a seedling from Mott's Orchid it's a freebie and she's got this growing in there lava rocks outdoors in the rain humidity air circulation oh my goodness they just flourish in here this one here not lava rock but these are the the rocks that i found in a they collect from the beach i like to um go in the beach and every time i go i get a uh, souvenir rocks please beach please don't don't um, arrest me for taking some rocks. Sorry. Yeah. I did ask um, uh, an expert, Rick L. Hi, Rick L. He's got a channel. He's fabulous in his style of um, river rocks. And I asked his um, opinion about the the beach salted beach rocks I did and I have so many of this uh, someday I'm, I will experiment and put this in the orchid too thank you Rick L for answering my question so I just use this one I used to um, use this for um, in a humidity tray so I don't think they're salted anymore so now I decorated them as a top dressing. Not lava rock, but <laughs> pretty well. And I also use a uh, lava rock here in this basket, hanging basket, to save some of this orchid. Because these are the orchids that used to be in the pot and they just not do well in there. So I put them in the hanging basket with lava rocks instead. And look at that new brand new roots right there. And look at that in there. I can just see the new, new growth that's grown today. I mean this season. And look at that. Yeah. Another usage of lava rocks for me in my collection and this is example how I use lava rocks in my collection the the baby Vanda testacea right there species Vanda it's a freebie from tropical orchid farm look at that and it's thriving in the in this hanging basket right here and I put um few lava rocks in there to just at least hold the moisture longer so that I don't have to keep coming back twice or three times a day to water them lava rocks are doing well I mean the orchids are doing well with this lava rock set up right here and this is another example of how I use lava rocks in my orchid collection look at this this Cutlia right here growing a sheath but the new growth also is climbing out but I wanted to put that in a bigger pot that will contain her and then um, but I don't want to repot her completely just want to uh, secure her in there without wobbling so I just use lava rocks to fill in and then instead of just like pot um, over uh, inside another pot like that and if they wiggle, they wiggle waggle inside and that's 
that can break that can cause a breakage of the root roots so i just use lava rocks to stabilize them and um, useful for the roots as well to hold some moisture and same here as the baby renanthera i cannot repot this renanthera anymore because um the net pot that it was growing in the nursery it was like a, lots of holes in the bottom of this little pot but the roots are bound and wound in there so it's it's really difficult to take them out without breaking them so and I do not want to do that so I just same thing put in a bigger container and then just line the rocks around them so this will do for now yeah so and they're stable in there I mean though yeah the renanthera is stable it's good same here in the Sumborkia tibicinis I because it's plastic and I want this to be heavy because she's gonna grow big later on so I just put a few rocks in there as a top dressing and this one here I did this one um three weeks ago straight lava rocks in this in this uh, dendrobium it's part experiment anyway so and that, because um, there's a new growth right there and I divided this dendrobium so this one's is straight lava rocks in a pot why not and another dendrobium Talanopsis plastic container to hold more moisture in that one so that would be helpful for me in indoor indoor growing and these are here I have some prepare, uh, I prepared some object in here so that we can um, repack this Katlia this Katlia has a baby so it's perfect to repot her so I'll show you how I do this um, it's so hard to repot and do this like that um, at the same time so I'll just pause and let's get back to this and here it is, and here it is, guys. I could, I managed to take the Katlia out of the pot, and can you tell I'm not a good uh, person to do tutorial because it's just like a wishy-washy one. Oh my goodness, just bear with me. I'm trying my best, and so I already put it in there because it's kind of hassle. There's only one hand, and doing work so i don't want to completely kill all the roots in there i'm gonna use this one some of that but um there's only one dead root and i wanna com i do not wanna completely kill all the roots by disturb disturbing them so much so i just left a few um bark in there that's um that's really stuck with the root in there i don't want to break them because when i took this out from the pot I broke a um, couple of the new roots so and I position this in here all I do is like pile this lava rocks like like a puzzle but not too tight so that you know they still they still can breathe do like that there's so many um new roots in this in this catlia so I'm gentle I have some um, small and medium rocks right here lava rocks so I use them so in the small one I'll put closer to the roots so that you can uh, use that and wrap around the root in there quickly Just like um, rearranging them, let them play in the puzzle, really, yeah. And I use, like I said, I use bigger pots so that I do not need to keep doing this. Because I do not really, as much as I like my collection, 
I do not like to do repotting because I'm all about the bloom guys and I learned that if I wanted a nice bloom then I have to take care of the plant that's why if I want to grow plants so I will uh, learn if I want to see beautiful blooms then I have to learn how to care for the plants right that's what I'm doing I'm not an expert with this one but I'm trying my best for them yeah and if this one doesn't like it in here I always just change topics so I will just remove and transfer this to the bark medium so that's what I do sometimes during my experiment I will bring the plant in the brink of death then then I will save it yeah I like this little size of lava rocks I don't like this too big I only use this big one in the bottom yeah, especially if I have a deeper pot this big lava rocks is good but to um, actually rip at them I like these uh, smaller ones well, I, I could like uh, I think get a hammer and break them down but I don't want to do that don't want to do that but you could if you want to this is just how I do, how I do things in my collection that's the rules that's, that's the rule I made for myself if I want to see a nice blooms then learn how to take care of the plant itself and that's what I'm doing and I'm not an expert in growing guys so that's what that's what um oh there's a new one right there it's growing I didn't even realize it good thing I didn't break that one there's another um eye in there it's going up yep so lucky That's my motto. My motto is like beautiful flowers. Learn. Oh, my motto that my motto sucks. <laughs> Didn't even rhyme. Beautiful flowers. Take care of them. If you want to see beautiful flowers, take care of the plants. Learn how to take care of the plants. I should say. Just doing this like um. Look at that. They're pretty stable. Now wobbly whatsoever. Look at that. Very nice, guys. And this is pretty much, pretty much it. Um, I don't want it to get too much so that they don't get the idea of climbing out. So I think this is good. Uh, this is really perfect during like summer growing, raining, the, it get rain on, and then um, humidity. I, Ocean State has <laughs> plenty of humidity, but I don't have to worry about that here outside. Then ventilation, but sometimes we have a stale something, but it still manage to grow. We still have um, sometimes uh, this one is not as high of a humidity, but. My husband likes it because he's human being. He doesn't like humidity. So, oh well. The plants learn how to um, deal with that too. So, this baby here is good. And then put the tag. I should put the date that I repotted this in here. But I don't have a pencil right now. But in a way, that's all. Um, that's all, guys. Like, um... um what else I can say about this? It's good. I don't. I don't do this um, lava rocks in all my orchids. I'm selective to um, a few dendrobiums and mostly vandas and cattleyas. Yep. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.